Did Reno drop? I know that he still has not been able to get his Instagram back. Although I hit him up and was like, yo, I can help you. No response. No response. But it's okay. He, he's got his own help now because he now, I wasn't allowed to say this prior, but he signed to 10K Projects, which is the same label as say trippy red uh even jaleel recently six nine among others i think like ian dior internet money so <laughs> if y'all wondered how he got like the data about all of the everybody else's numbers that like labels have that remember we, we talked about it, it's like not everybody has access to that so about that time was when he signed the deal but It'll be interesting to see because I feel like he's already done his business in the underground. Like there's no respect that he needs to earn anymore. So now he can move on to the next level. It's like lucky he signed empire, right? Even though that's not a major and nobody's going to call you a plant at that point. Cause summers up until this point has done literally everything himself. He was signed to Victor Victor or whatever the fucking labels called, but they weren't doing anything cause they had, you know, mishaps it what not pr nightmares and shit but as you can see summers is right here summers along with trippy some other artists i don't know i know poor stacy he's from like south florida lil boom didn't even know lil boom was signed to 10k projects um jaleel internet money ian dior dro kenji i don't know the rest of those but yeah summer signed a deal baby it's always good to see, especially because he might be under the same situation and we can actually check that. We should do it. Wherein, you know how we talked about how Yeet had such a great deal with his projects or just his career in general because he didn't sign his music away to who did he sign to? I can't even remember. I know it was like Zach Bia with Field Trips rec Records and uh who did Yeet sign to? I can't remember. It's been so long since we've discussed this, but we can check it right now. So life, he was under Interscope, right? Field Trip Records. Okay, so he's under Interscope. Now, I just checked Summer's songs and it doesn't look like his older music is distributed by 10K Projects just yet. They might change it later on because I know when Sofago signed to Travis Scott for a little bit, it didn't say Cactus Jack, but then it got changed too. So it looks like Sofago, I don't know the deal, but I would assume maybe it's like 360 of some sorts. They do do a ton of work for him. But if you go to After Me, it's distributed by Cactus Jack. So now they likely get a cut of Off the Map and all of the song, the prior songs that he released prior to signing to Cactus Jack. But Summers, just like Yeet might be in the similar boat where since he already took off and did his thing and laid the groundwork he might have negotiated a deal where he still makes a hundred percent of his older music whereas the label only gets the newer shit so ye only splits two alive geek pack and life thus far so summers doesn't even split anything just yet at least from the outside looking in I don't know their contract again they could end up taking everything they just don't want it to look like they are because summer's got to look organic but yeah summer's just came off of a solid project so it's actually like he killed it when it comes to marketing and just laying the groundwork for his contract and his uh leverage because he saw he, he he dropped a solid project quality wise I even like there was there was the interlude song on there. I was like, damn, this bro sounds like fucking Drake on here, especially just the vibe, the beat. Like, I'm not just saying that because he's an underground artist who's versatile, like everybody likes to say. But so he dropped a fire project and it did numbers. Remember, he, he dropped the numbers saying that he was streaming more than like Ken and some other people. So now he has the leverage going to the label and be like, yo, I'm selling this much without y'all. Y'all going to give me a million dollars before I sign my shit away. So Summers, congrats. Congrats. Probably made a fucking bag, bro. Bag. Finna get sued, exposing contract negotiation. Bro, I, I didn't show anything. 
and nobody told me anything i'm just assuming this is how contracts go in general this is how contracts go even outside the music industry you just gotta weigh the benefits on each side or the the leverage that you have or the perks that you have that the other person in the deal wants so the label wants the money from your streams or wants the numbers and so if you already have that they don't really need you the person that wins the negotiation is the person who can walk away and doesn't care the person who cares less about the deal wins the negotiation perks <laughs> perks